6 a.m. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Julia Marston Clark and the topic of today's lesson is God's Grand Christ-Centered Plan. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we are so thankful that we have another opportunity to share your word. So we, so we ask that you help us to open our hearts to receive the message we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture passage of focus today is Ephesians 1, verses 9 and 10. Now, what is God's plan for our time? How big is this plan? These verses tell us what the answers are. God's plan is that he wants to join in everything, everywhere. Paul uses a Greek term that is really meaning to add up all things. This occurs in the New Testament and in Bible times, accountants used to add up columns of numbers and they would put those figures at the top of the column. So in the same way, Jesus is at the top of God's final plan. God made this plan before he made the earth and the sky. You can find that in Ephesians 1 verse 4. God's plan is forever. So we can see that his plan is very big. God's whole plan is to save us. And it is about Jesus' death on the cross. Him waking up from the dead. Him going to heaven and being honored in front of the angels. God's plan also included starting the church on earth. The church will help to join humans together, both Jews and non-Jews. In this way, the church shows Satan and his followers that God's plan is working and that Satan's kingdom will end, according to Ephesians 3, verse 10. The Bible tells us that Satan's end is coming. The devil has come down to you. He is very angry. He knows his time is short, according to Revelation 12, verse 12. The last half of Paul's letter starts with an announcement for peace and agreement in the church. He tells the church to avoid behavior that destroys this agreement. He tells the church members to work together with peace and he ends his letter with a powerful word picture. He compares the church to a strong army. This army works together to make peace on earth in Jesus' name. Now the question is, how can you celebrate the saving mercy and forgiveness that Jesus gives you? How do you feel when you remember that God's mercy and forgiveness are part of God's big plan. My brothers and my sisters, His mercy and forgiveness are part of His plan to save humans from sin and join together all things in peace and agreement in Jesus. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are thankful for your words. We are so grateful that you have such a big plan for us. And we ask, Father, that you help us to be faithful and to be obedient, that together we will all work to ensure that your plan for us becomes a awesome. Thank you for everything you've done for us, I pray. In your precious and holy name. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Alpha. We look forward to sharing another episode with you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.